Hey everyone, it's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. So let's see what we do today. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the auction that's going to be ending here within the next hour or so. This will be our second auction we are trying here on Highbed. Um, again, we're, we're doing this for multiple different reasons. We want to build this local clientele. We want to be able to offer products to people locally and also to be able to ship items, you know, with all of this uh, crazy stuff that's out there in the real world. You know, I think people are are shopping online. They'd rather have items shipped to them versus me going and doing garage sales and local sales and flea markets. I just think it's an appropriate thing to do. Plus, I can list a lot of items on these auctions and, and hopefully get them sold um, compared to a garage sale where maybe I sell 50 items here. Here with an auction, I think we got 180 lots going off tonight. So that'd be pretty epic if we can sell Shoot, even 30% of those, that'd be pretty awesome because we, we want to free up some space. Um, if, you haven't, uh, if you don't understand the situation here, the situation is this, is that I've got a garage full, I've got a 40-foot 40 40 container right over here full, I've got a, gosh, you don't even want to know. i got my own trailer filled, i got a shed fill, I've got three or four units out there that I'm paying monthly on that are filled with items, so the stuff's got to go. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm really excited about tonight. Looking forward to see what happens and um, cross the fingers, you know. I mean, this is this is just all trial and error here at this point, you know, to see if we can unload things, see if we can build a business, um, a, a, an extension of our business more along the lines, like see if we can get this auction house from our house. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do, the auction house from the house. Okay, so we are on our high bid page. Uh, the auction is ending here in less than two minutes. It's going to start going down. We've got 180 lots here in today's auction, and um, I'm just curious to see the process of how it was, because last week we didn't get any bids when it was ending. So um, let's take a look behind the scenes. And what we have here currently is excellent traffic. We got 43 people registered to bid, 2,989 views, 647 coming direct from our Pick for Profit high bid, uh, 192 unique bids, 278 total bids for $515. So um, this is pretty awesome, guys. This is really awesome. It's going to go here and just kind of watch it scroll through here. And we'll see if there's any bids here um, at the last seconds as some of these start to trickle down. But, man, I am stoked right now. Wow. You know, last week it was it was a letdown. Maybe it was the Elvis stuff. You know, it was really niche -y. But as we, as we look over here now, we've got bids, which is awesome. Got some new people registering. And uh, we got some, I've seen some of the, uh, the addresses that pop up. They're, they're people from all over the place. I mean, there's people from, you know, California, Texas, but there's a lot of Arizona here. That's really what we're trying to build up. Um, so, again, I'm, I'm really new to the high bid process here, and then I'll talk about this a little later, maybe in this video or another video about some, some hiccups we're having. But right now I'm, I'm thrilled, you know, um, to see bids. Uh, the dollar amounts are, are, you know, they are what they are. That's I knew this going in. You know what? We got to just run and dump. Got to got to get the price attractive, and get the items sold here because this is this is the dilemma we're facing is just the clutter. So we got some items that are ending. They're closing, looks like. Um, but they got bids. They're selling. The Mickey Mouse stuff's going. I'm trying to see here the Blu-rays. I see some Blu-rays here. There's looks like those aren't a hot commodity anymore. Um, we don't have any bids on these. And these are all like Disney Blu-rays. I thought that'd be a good idea to sell them separately. Maybe next time we'll just lot them up and let them rip. But uh, here we sold the Mickey Mouse plush. As seen on TV, Quick Chopper. Looks like it's got two bids. So this is fun and exciting, guys. I'm not going to go through this whole process here of showing you every single item that's sold because I can assume it might be a little boring. Um, but if there's interest down the road of what I'm selling on these high bids... And um, maybe I'll do a recap video of that for you guys that are interested in that. So lots are ending here. This is great news. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll come back on here. We'll do a recap when it finishes. All right. So I guess I wasn't paying attention to the screen here, but um, people are bidding, which is outstanding. We've got this one you can see here on the left side, World of Warcraft. Um, it's up to 20 hours here, and it's doing the soft close process, which is going through. It's got 18 bids on it. So... Um, 
I wasn't sure if bids were coming in as it started to close, and it's definitely that's the case. I was curious to see if I had a setting wrong or something of that nature, but um, it appears I, I don't. Um, everything's good, so this is great news. So we're winding down right here. Um, again, this was a 180 lot auction. There's 112 lots still open, and uh, we're just closing down some comic books, it looks like here. Uh, we got some headphones. We What's coming up here? Some perfumes, some stereo equipment, household items. So, looks like the World of Warcraft's going to end there. Oh, got another bid there. Okay, so that's great. The bids are actually showing in real time here for me on my end because uh, I was concerned last week that nothing was happening, and apparently there wasn't anything happening last week. So, um, the soft bid is is working here. I see twenty two dollars on the World of Warcraft, which is great. Auctions are ending here. So again, I'll recap you guys here towards the end of this auction. But so far, so good. I dig it. All right, so we've got 54 lots ending here. I wanted to show you guys these RC cars. They came out of a storage unit, which I'll put the video out at some point here. We got one of them at $27 and another one at $121. They did not have the controllers on them, but just decided just to throw them out there and let them rip. So um, one's closing there. Looks like the one sold for 27 and looks like the other one is closing out at $121, so not too bad. Got some uh, yarn lots here. There was eight pounds of beads for crafting. It's at $2. Um, got some DVD lots. Looks like the soft bid's activated. Uh, again, I'm, I'm new to this here, so I'm just seeing the back end. Um, or maybe it's the front end. I'm not too sure. But um, I'll tell you what, I am beyond excited seeing bids and seeing items sell. And uh, moving forward, no doubt about it. I think what I'll do, guys, is there's 50 lots left. We'll just let it roll out there, um, and I'll come back, and me and Kim will we'll do a recap of kind of what happened with this auction. Take number 57. All right, we're, we're doing this again. <laughs> you have no idea the pain we are going through. <laughs> to film these videos for you guys. It's almost ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, all right, um, before we get into tonight's results for the auction, let's talk about last week's auction. Uh, we had two buyers that didn't pay. <laughs> I'm having deja vu. <laughs> yeah, because we, we've said this, we've said this 50 times. Well, we're, no joke, we're guys. We're having technical difficulties. All right, so uh. we have had two buyers that didn't pay. <laughs> we, uh, I reached out to Auction Flex and asked them if, you know, uh, I had some questions. Get an answering service. Nobody's ever called me back. Still. Still. So I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in there. Um, now, we got to talk about it too, is because we're a little different than what most high bid auctions are doing. Most high bid auctions, they're using the merchant accounts that are there. We're using PayPal. Yeah. And the reason for that is they're adapting it somewhere in the line to do, have PayPal automated so the back end's a lot easier. Because right now, like the credit card stuff is very easy for a high bid seller to do that. And they have control over the credit card. Yeah. So when you bid, the auctioneer can just charge the credit card a second after it's over. Right. And Whereas now, the way we have to do it, we have to invoice, physically invoice everybody. Yeah, and then we have the shipping added on there. We're not making anything on the shipping. We're just like, here, here it is. But um, So that's what we're doing with it, just waiting for the, the revamp of PayPal to, to be a part of that, um, which it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And that may be why people aren't paying because they're not being forced to. Where the that credit card... You know, if you're if you got the credit card thing with a merchant account, you just click the button, they're charged. Yeah. I mean, there's even I've even seen sellers that say, "Hey, we'll charge your card five dollars at a time until we get our money." I mean, it's wow. it's, it's kind of harsh. Um, but that's that's the past. Um, tonight's auction was pretty darn epic. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm blown Actually, away. We did it. It was it was so good. It was it was what this we were hoping for. Yeah. You know. It's we had 180 items up there, guys. We sold 127 of those items. That's great. That's like 70 percent. 71 percent. Uh t total of 23 buyers. Now these auction lots, I mean, some were single lots, some had multiple items in there. Mm -hmm. So we moved a lot of stuff here. Um eleven of the twenty-three buyers were Arizona buyers, which is great. great. That's what we're really trying to we we want to do two things. We want to sell to people and we have no problem shipping it, but we also want to we want to have the bigger bulkier items. Yeah. Like we sold a table for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously that. Local pickup. Local okay, pickup. Great. Yeah. It, it frees up space. You know, we able to treat this like a business. 
in a storefront, man. We're, we're jam-packed full of stuff. We are jammed. We are busting at the <laughs> scenes. So. So, so I was like, you know what? Okay, yeah, a dollar. Yeah, I mean, I could have got, I probably could have got a lot more somewhere else. If but, we had waited or done, yeah, we, we could have gotten more for but, some but of the we stuff. Can't, but we, we can't look at it like that. You know, yeah. it's about moving volume. and uh, We know what we've got into it. So it's, it we're what happy it with it's, what it's sold for. Yeah, it's, it's G so. to G. It's good to go. Uh, seven buyers are picking up. Nice. So that's that's pretty epic. That's, that's where we want to see. Yeah. That's what we want to build on. You know, but we also don't want to. You know, we we, we want to encourage everybody to, to buy, right? Well, we yeah. Want to see the power I mean, that's pilot, fine. You know, for sure. Stuff shipped, and we get the whole thing right now. You know, with the whole yeah. C word. You know. Well, um, there were even a couple people that are local, literally like a, a town over that want wanted it shipped, it shipped yep. because of the situation yeah. in the world so yeah. so it is what it is personal preference but i think by doing this here it's it's solving some of our problems right with a lot of the the, the mass amounts of stuff we have and uh, this is only the tip of the iceberg so i'm i'm beyond stoked with this um and the great thing is i think it, it's it it helps us with not having that exposure of having to go to the flea market and being around a bunch of people yes. and so we're limiting our exposure as well yeah so, so you know we're, we're doing all the legwork behind the scenes where we're listing Taking photographs of it, yeah. which takes time. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? We're not out there in the market selling it. We're not. We're not at the flea market at five o'clock in the morning setting up. Yeah. Right? We're not doing a YouTube auction and spending three hours just to sell thirty items. Yeah. You know, and not not, not saying anything wrong with what we did with the YouTube auctions. No, it's and we'll, we'll this probably is... continue to do those in the future. But this is just a more streamlined process for a business that we do we, we do is reselling i'm liking i'm liking the way this is yeah this has been this is fantastic i couldn't ask for anything more for our second <laughs> auction i think this is incredible 127 so. items sold i think that's and, incredible and there's more work that's going to be put through here because sure. we got to grab pick items we got to put them together wait Put for the, the pickups together throw the invoices yeah. out there get paid so there is a lot items. of work it's, yeah. it is a lot of work it's not like it's just like but yeah, we made it and life's good. Yeah. We, we could do this tomorrow. Yeah. No, there's no way we can pump out it daily auctions. I mean, unless we had a week to get every yeah. get yeah. get done with the one and reset because by just about the time where you're you would get done with this, it's going to be time for the next yeah. auction. The way that it seems to and be. And that's what we're trying to shoot for is every week to do <laughs> these every Sunday and uh, to see where it goes. I mean, um, but yeah, this this is great. Uh, we, we sold all different types of items, too. Like, I mean, it's not like it's just crap and junk. No. I mean, some people good. might it say, oh, dude, this junk, but it doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's just we're selling things. Things are selling for as low as a dollar, like the table we mentioned. Um, there was that RC car. Yeah, one of the RC's cars sold for like 140 bucks. So that was you know? awesome. Um, brand new with tag stuff. Miami Dolphins. Uh, we sold here. Gloves. Hats. A dollar. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, we have buyer's premium on the stuff, which is 15%. Mm -hmm. and, and that right there, you know, that helps out our bottom line too, mm -hmm. right? Because people don't realize the cost of shipping boxes and bubble wrap and tape and a little bit of time to package and things it, together. Well, and the time. I yeah. mean, people don't value their time yeah. either. So. And, I, and I think this is a perfect fit for what we're doing. So um, we're beyond thrilled here, guys. Yeah, super I, happy I, I, do, I did see some of you guys have bought some items. Um, which is really yeah, awesome. That's awesome. I'm really looking forward to possibly meeting. I know I'm going to meet a couple of you. Yeah. <laughs> um, in, the, in the next 24 hours. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that are uh, that are bidding, you know, and getting great buys, and that's what we want to do. We mm -hmm. want to provide a service to whether the stuff goes for a dollar. Sure, we can sit here and complain about it. Oh my God, it was worth 30. You know, I could have done 30 on Facebook. It's gone. It's gone. It's free up space. And these guys have seen us for so long. They see, they haven't even seen a, a fraction. A fraction of what, all they've seen is the garage. And they've seen the storage contain. Yeah, they've oh, seen, that's little, right. they've seen you, some you things. You opened up the storage they, container. You, you guys right. don't even know the what's what's happening here at this moment in time. The storage units we have out there filled. <laughs> well, and then we have, uh, uh, we cleaned out another estate for somebody that they want us to yeah, sell their stuff. Yeah, we've got consignment stuff. Amazing stuff yeah, in that Yeah, so one. if, if you're that looking, great. whether you're a collector or, you know, whatever it is, just stay tuned. It's pickforprofit.com. Slash auctions. It's slash auctions. You can go over there and then it'll, it'll afford you a high bid. Mm -hmm. Give you the schedule, what's going on. But there's some amazing stuff going through the pipeline here. I don't know if you, there's a basketball behind you that's autographed, which 
that's a consignment item. Steve Nash autograph ball. And the consignment items, it, you know, I mean. Well, those will start at what they got to start at. They start at the price they tell us that what they want for it. Right. So, I mean, if it's my game, I'm like, let's just go for a buck, right? Yeah. But overall, to end the video, it's been amazing. Um, can't ask for anything more. Super happy with this We're going to keep plugging Super along. Happy. And uh, we'll see where it goes. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be amazing. And remember, try new things. Try new things. Try new things. That's what we're doing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Talk to you later. Peace. Deuces.